What's up? Hey, what is with Dino Stacks? And plywood with a bolt have in common? Nah, that's not a joke. But if you stay tuned, I'll kind of show you. Not the greatest video. No, nah, I'm just kidding. It's an alright video. Stay tuned. I'll bring you the answer. Hi, Jeff from Wisconsin Woodworking. I'm bringing you a quick tip. Yeah, I would say a quick tip. All right, I'm making a dado stack mm, thickness gauge. I don't know what you'd really call it. It's a quick fix for setting up your dado stack so you don't have to keep taking it apart in your table saw. Um, some of you guys might have seen it, some of you might have not. It's uh, pretty much an old school tip. So what you do is you cut yourself a piece of plywood, 12 by 14 or however big you want it. I made it 12 by 14 so that I can put my dado stack on it and bump my piece of wood up to it that's going to be the thickness that I would need to dado on and that way I can gauge straight across I can figure out my shims if I need and there's no playing around on the actual saw where you gotta tighten it down make your cut pull it back off because it was too narrow so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this board over to the drill press and I'm gonna countersink for a washer and then I'm also going to be drilling the hole for the 5 8 bolt. And then we'll come back and I'll show you how you just stack up the dado set. And then you can gauge it. Alright, I'll move you over here to the drill press. So, basically, I drilled that hole, set the washer in, to get a little more pressure so that I didn't have just a nut pulling through. You don't really need a lot of pressure, you could have just done the nut, the, or the hex head, on the bolt. Now, when you want to stack up your dado blades, your dado blades are smooth here, overhang here. The smooth side is the always the outside of your dado blade. And start stacking up. Now, here's your piece of wood. And I always go like that. <clears throat> this is about three quarter plywood. You can look at your chart to get an, uh, a rough to find out how many chippers and you basically need three chippers and two spacers
Then you take your nut and you tighten it down like Now you can gauge and you can find out where you're at here. And it feels pretty darn close. Probably could use a slight shim in there. So this is just a quick way of setting up so you don't have to put it all on here, take it all back off because you cut so quick. And uh, you can gauge it. You can make it so that you set it up so it's exactly flush all the way across and it works with undersized plywood the best because that's where you're going to get into using all the thinner shims. This one feels pretty darn right on. You can hear it just a hair. So it probably could be like a 4,000 shim that I would add to this and run it. Well, there you have it. I ran a quick dado on it. Um, as you can see, I couldn't even shake it out. It drops right in. It's nice and snug. It's a good dado fit. So if you use that stack prehand, you should be able to dial in your thickness of your dado so that you don't have to keep going into your table saw and keep pulling the blades off. So if you set it up ahead of time, boom, done. And then you know, then you mark it down. Mark it down on that board. You write everything down in black felty so you don't lose all your thing. That way you know. You know, two outside blades, three chippers, two shims, and maybe a 4,000, or maybe you need one shim, a 20,000th shim after that. You know, it's all depending on what you got to have. So, anyways, um, take care. I will see you guys soon for a different product review. I just received one of my mag switch parts in the mail. I still got to do the Bosch sander uh, review. So I do have some wood around here. We can sand. I got some different grits. and We'll see how it pulls off with the different grits. All right. Take care. The wood's work is... Huh, boy, did I goof that one up. A tree's work is never done. You be safe, make some sawdust, enjoy your shop. Until next time, see ya.